delighted to introduce Mr. Mitchell Powers for his accomplishment. He received a Green Belt certification from the Council for a Six Sigma certification after finishing our Lean Six Sigma class. So, Mitchell, congratulations, and we are very excited about your accomplishment. Thank you, Dr. Dhabi. I have a few questions for you. Mitchell, what advice do you have for students to pursue this uh, kind of uh, certification? My primary advice to anyone looking at doing this program uh, would first be to do it, to go for it. It's, I think, critical for success in any industry and organization that you decide to work with, but also uh, to not worry so much about who you certify through and to focus more on getting the certification. When you get into the job force, employers might decide that they'd like you to uh, to certify through a different organization than you may have certified through initially. But I think that's going to be rare. I think what employers are primarily looking for is that you have the certification, you've taken the initiative to go through the process to actually obtain the certification. That would be my advice. What is the format of the certification and how many exams did you take? format of the exam that I took specifically was 100 questions. It was a lot of qualitative aspects about uh, Lean Six Sigma concepts, but there was some um, quantitative aspects as well. For this particular organization and for multiple organizations that offer the certification, the exam was open book. Uh, however, uh, it was certainly important to have taken the Six Sigma class and to have an uh, in-depth knowledge of the materials before taking the examination. We are very excited about the uh, opportunity of uh, Lean Six Sigma class. We are uh, offering that class on a regular basis at Appalachian State in our MBA program. Can you highlight preparing for the exam, Mikhail? Yeah, absolutely. So obviously I took the, the Six Sigma class offered at App State last semester, which helped a great deal. But this semester, since I had a little bit more free time, I was able to study, I would say, about anywhere from maybe three to six hours a week in my spare time. So reading up on uh, extra materials, that's actually provided by the Council for Six Sigma Certification. They provide what's called uh, the Body of Knowledge, and it's uh, essentially a book that you get to access for free. And so you can read through and learn uh, concepts, techniques, and get a more in-depth with the material than we may not have had time for during the actual class itself. Taking the course last semester with you was, I would say, uh, of the utmost importance in order to be able to take and pass this examination. The body of knowledge, like I mentioned, that's provided by the Council of Six Sigma was a great resource for myself. It allowed me to read about the material um, and provide examples in the text. That is fantastic. Uh, can you talk about how much did it cost you to get certification? The two options is, uh, the first is $159. And essentially, that is a timed exam. You have two hours, which I thought was more than enough time. I think when I took it, I probably had about 30 to 40 minutes of, of leftover time. Now, you do have the option of paying a higher fee. It's $349. That option provides you a couple of advantages. The first is that the exam is not timed. Uh, however, the Council of Six Sigma certification for their belts, they essentially offer two levels. They offer a standard belt title, uh, which is what I have. I'm certified Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. Uh, they also have what they refer to as level two. Now the level two in this case is uh, requiring you to have some kind of real world experience, uh, typically project experience where you're applying Six Sigma principles. So if you don't have that experience necessarily at this point in your professional career, you can still take the Lean Six Sigma exam and you can have that certification. And then later on down the road, if you wanna get the, uh, the level two certification to add to your resume, you have that option. So the advantage of paying the higher price is not only uh, do you not have to take the exam in a time setting, but also whenever you decide to come back to certify for the level two, it's included in the cost of that initial voucher, so you don't have to pay anything else. The nice uh, features of certifying with the Council of Six Sigma certification is that with the purchase price of that voucher, you get three attempts within the year of the purchase date. So if you'd like to take kind of like a preliminary examination to see where you are and where you need to be, if you don't pass it, 
you still have two other attempts, which is really nice to take advantage of. You don't need to necessarily put out a bunch of money to get a private tutor or attend a course. Uh, you always have that option. There's lots, lots of places that offer the you know classes and things like that for students, but I don't think it's necessary. So even if you just go online and search for Six Sigma, you're going to very quickly find lots of free materials that you can use. It's so critical that uh, our students have this knowledge and make our students more successful in this uh, global competitive environment. So can you talk about what are the benefits of certification? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I think there's a lot of benefits uh, that I could talk about, but I think there's two main ones that I'd like to discuss. The first uh, is obviously from a professional development standpoint, being able to have that certification, not only going to make you more appealing to employers, uh, but it's also going to open a lot more doors that you might not necessarily have had access to. So that's a huge uh, impact. The second major benefit is simply being able to provide value to those employers. You know, Six Sigma is all about quality and with quality become, you know, comes with reduced expenses, increased revenue. And so that's a huge benefit of certifying and having that knowledge whenever you go into the workforce, because you're going to be able to add a lot of value to virtually anyone that you decide to work with. Thank you so much, Mitchell, and uh, we really look forward to staying in contact with you. Thank you, Dr. Dave. I appreciate it.